I'm gonna show you a good product that I've found to glue these back in and the technique that I use to put them back on the mower. If you go to buy one of these, they're about $170 for just the seat. That doesn't include any of the mechanism down below, and that's for an unbranded John Deere replacement seat. If you want to see how to reattach this, stick around. I'm gonna show you the best way to put this back on here. There is no easy way to get this out of here. You don't have to get it all, but get as much of it as you can. Then just take compressed air or a brush or something. Then once you get all that picked out of there, just take brake cleaner or carburetor cleaner and just wipe that out really good so you can get all the oil and dirt out of there. I've already cleaned this one up, but do the same thing on the seat around here. Just wipe that down so this edge around the outside there is extremely clean. Another step you need to make sure you take is take rough sandpaper. This is 220 grit sandpaper or like an emery cloth or Brillo pad. Make sure that you scuff up this plastic as best you can and that will allow this glue to adhere much better to this surface. And you can also use the emery cloth kind of go over that and just scuff that up. Sometimes this works better when you have the regular surfaces. In fact, this is what I'll use when I go around the edge here, is just get down in that edge really well. And once you get that all scratched or scuffed up, it should look like this. So you're going to have a nice scratched up surface so that that glue has something better to adhere to than that shiny surface. All right, for this next step here, I recommend you put on some rubber gloves. Read the can, make sure you use whatever it recommends. What I'm going to do here is take a clean rag, make sure you get a rag that doesn't have any grease or waxes on it, and then just take acetone. If you have somebody in your household that uses fingernail polish, they probably have acetone fingernail polish remover. It will work the same as this. We already cleaned it earlier with the brake cleaner or the carburetor cleaner. This is more compatible with the glue I'm going to be using and this just ensures that one last time we get all the contamination off of this seat and start with a really good surface to attach this thing back onto. You may notice I'm not doing a lot here in the center because this is where your seat safety switch is. I'm not going to glue or attach anything, no glue or anything on this part of the seat. All right, the glue I'm going to be using is a Loctite Professional Performance Spray Adhesive and this is only going to be used where the cushion attaches. In fact, I'm going to take a piece of cardboard, make sure I don't get this down in this groove where the vinyl is going to attach. I'm going to use a different type of adhesive for where the vinyl attaches to the seat. But I want to get this done first, so what I'll do is spray this down, and then I'm going to show you how to hold this cushion in here while we're putting this on there. But again, I don't want this down in the edge. In fact, I'm not even going to try to spray it all the way up to the edge. I'm just going to use this to keep it from getting on there. All right, and that is really about all I need there. And I'm gonna put my gloves back on. One problem that a lot of people have here is when they put this on to try to get this edge in there, it is really hard to get this to force back down in there to where it will stay and get this to seat in there. What I do, I take a couple boards and a rope and I just wrap this shirt around this piece of wood. It's another piece of wood just like this, just to protect the seat. Because what I'm gonna do is put this right here, wrap this rope around it, and then I'll thread this down through the drain hole in the seat and then take that down through the plastic base and take this other board stick that through here and then you can twist this and that will tighten that cushion down just make sure you've got it good and square because once you clamp that down with that glue on there it's going to be really hard to move it we're just going to get that where we want it and then tighten this down and again i do not have glue around the edge of this yet got these bumpers here underneath here just turn that and that'll keep that from spinning back adhesive I'm going to use around the edge of this thing it's a vinyl fabric flexible glue and this is commonly used for repairing like air mattresses rubber liners and swimming pools I like to take like a q-tip or a uh, applicator like this that you can get down in there real well and smear this in there really well and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the top in first so I'm not gonna put the glue all the way around this yet and I will smear some just around this edge of the seat and I'm also gonna get some on this foam here now you're supposed to let that set up just enough to get tacky you know what I'll do I borrowed some clamps just as you get that in there just put a clamp on it once you let that first part set up you got to make sure this seat is squared up or you're never going to get it straight and I'm just going to come back around here on the other side and do the same thing now there is quite a bit of gap here we may need to loosen this up a little bit as we get these clamps on here this becomes less important no glad that missed my face 
clamp doesn't quite open up far enough, so I just stuck the back side of it on there. And I'll do the same thing here. Just put that on there backwards. Just kind of roll it around there. And that way it'll hold that in place. Try not to get this on my fingers too much. I'll just work that down in there with a little spatula or a screwdriver or something. All right, what I'm going to do now is just let this set up a little bit on the back part here before I start working my way around the bottom there. And then I'll glue the rest of this together after this sets up. Did go ahead and pull the clamps off of the back here. I realized here on the bottom, these clamps, they don't open up that far. And the clamp is not going to be able to go all the way around. Even if I try to do it like that, it's going to be too small. So I'm going to come up with a little bit different idea here. I'm going to put a board on it like this and then take a looped strap. And I'm going to put this around this seat like this. I already took the board out of the back. We really don't need this anymore. But then I'll tie this so that I can twist this up. We can tighten that seat down in there and then start working that in down here on the bottom. And we can keep tightening this to pull that all the way down in there. So what I'll do is go ahead and make sure that's loose where I can get this glue down in here really well. And I'm going to do this bottom part all in one stage all the way around the bottom edge here. I did go ahead and put a few more clamps around this thing. Might look like overkill, but the better you can clamp that thing on there and keep that tight against that plastic base, the better chance you have that that's going to actually stick on there and stay in place once you get done with this. But we'll let that set up tonight, see what it looks like tomorrow morning. All right, it's been about 14, 15 hours here now since I set this up. I'll go ahead and start pulling these clamps off. We'll see how this looks out here once we get all these clamps off of here. The longer you can let this set up, the better it's going to be. Once you get all the clamps off of it, let that foam expand out a little bit. It pushes that vinyl out so we get rid of all the creases and stuff where we had the clamps in it there. And you can see here, that is very well attached in there. But you can see there around the top, nice clean edge. You know, no way that's going to pull away from that. Guys, if you found this interesting, I've got another video that will show you if your seat has cracks or tears in the vinyl. I'll put a link to that video right up here. It'll go into a lot more detail if you have cracks or tears in your seat. Thanks for watching. Till next time.